Once again, it's uh, Friday, um, July 16th, uh, 2021. Um, today I went for another run. It's raining out. Much cooler. Um, probably only, uh, I don't know Celsius very well, but uh, 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so that's got to be what? Like 28, 27 Celsius? No, oh, maybe 29. I'm not sure. Hmm. But uh, today, I, well, yesterday I went a slightly different way than I normally go. And so today, um, I decided, because uh, I'd been thinking about going that way for a while, um, just to see what it was like, if I could do it and how I felt about it. And uh, so I did it yesterday, tested it, and I was like, okay. And so today, I did it with priority. Not just, I didn't just wander that way, I went that way. Directly. Um, and I went as a, a car would travel, um, as best as I could. Um, not cutting corners, just if a car, you know, so I wanted the distance to be represented. So uh, at some point, I will drive that distance in that route and uh, see what the mileage is. Get an idea of how far I'm going and how that feels and try to apply that to uh, elsewhere. Um, and I did the run today in good conditions. Um, it hadn't started raining yet, but it was starting to sprinkle. But it was cool, overcast, and I did it in, you know, from my starting point here. Uh, 13 minutes, 18 seconds. And I was running to uh, the southern exit of town, out by the highway. And uh, it took me 13 minutes, 18 seconds to get to the little, where the sidewalk ends. Uh, or where the paved uh, path ends. But it doesn't sound as poetic as where the sidewalk ends. And, uh... Yeah, and then I retraced my steps, and uh, instead of coming directly back um, and seeing if it took me exactly, or would I go slower than 13, 18, or, or faster than 13 minutes, 18 seconds on the way back, um, instead I was like, ah, I only, I only care about the one way. You know, I don't, don't want to, I'm, I'm never going to drive that way and then drive and then make a u-turn and come all the way back just to, i don't know um so anyway i didn't do that on the way back i took a different route I took more of a regular route out past uh, uh the college towards the interstate uh, heading east and then out that way um, past the softball fields the track fields the football fields out towards the farmland and then cut across and back around on the on the trail there and around the college and uh, past the tennis courts and everything like that and came back. And uh, yeah, so after doing all that, I um, ended up with so would have been cool if the last number was a four or two, but oh well. I wasn't shooting for it, it just happened. And I figure, as I was finishing up the run, I was realizing, I was like, well, it's 13.18, um, so, you know, if I, whatever that mileage is, um, times three, it's pretty close to 40 minutes. It's uh, 39.54. Thirty-nine minutes fifty-four seconds, and so then I did that, and I was like, "Well, I just want to pad it out a little bit in case I did run a little bit slower each subsequent um, iteration." So just in case, so when I find out the mileage for the thirteen eighteen, I can uh, times three and be like, "Hey, that particular day when I did forty forty, um, I did this amount, and this, and I'm." And, this is how I felt about it on July 16th, 2021. 
And uh, yeah, so that was my run today. And I had a good day at work. Um, you know, Kroger and doing my early morning shift. Um, and I am still, uh, yeah, I'm still, I'm happy with what I wrote and how I wrote it and represented myself because um, it's how I feel. And uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and it's out there. So, it might not have been read. It might have been read. Uh, and uh, I don't expect a response. Um, I don't really need a response. But I did need to say it. So, yeah. So, you know, I don't have any expectations of anything in return. Um, you know, anything in return is welcome. Any acknowledgement. And, uh, and if it's something... It's like, oh, be nice. Oh. Uh, and I know, I know they would. They, like, I've misunderstood everything. Again. Somehow. It's like, really? You know, so it's like, uh, it happens to me. So, misunderstanding. Uh, reality, misinterpreting everything, um, reading into things way more than what's there, and it, it makes for a very interesting reality that I uh, uh, live in, um, where I, I have difficulty with trusting um, anything that I come up with because you know it turns out to not be real, um, and it's very disconcerting, and I, I just kind of uh, stop trying eventually. And it's like, okay, I'll just give up and just stop interacting. Or, you know, it's like people, if they want my attention, they really have to let me know exactly what is going on and uh, what, how, you know, what do they want? Can I, you know, is there, is it, does it involve me? I, I don't know. Because <laughs> I just have problems with understanding, uh, just, you know, just basic human inter interaction and and, uh, but I, you know, it's like, uh, and I, I'm glad I'm not the only one. I, I'm pretty sure um, that uh, I'm not the only one who struggles. So I feel, I feel less alone and more understood and more appreciated and accepted. So even if, and, you know, I am off in my uh, understanding of things, which I hope I'm not. I hope I'm somewhere in the I don't know. I we'll see um, what comes of it. Maybe nothing. Maybe nothing. But I did need to say it, so that's the important thing. And then feeling good about saying it, and uh, having said what I need to say, and saying it well, and saying it you know as politely and uh, uh, honestly as I know how. And trying not to put anything on them as far as like um, anything in return or reciprocal or, you know. And if anything, it feels like, uh, I mean, I was approaching it as, as if, as if I was being waited on to respond. Because I felt like they had taken the initiative. And they had put themselves out there. And it was up to me to... Um, respond and it might not have been for me that's the other thing I come up with I come, came up with is that it might be like the equivalent of me reading someone else's mail I am not the addressee I am not the recipient I was not even a thought for all I know I am making presumptions um, it might be based on good guesswork and inference and insight, or what have you, but uh, it could be it's just uh, you know letters to the void. Um, you know this is a feeling that needs to be expressed, but it has no direct connection or basis in reality. You know, so I have to be ready. I get to be ready, or I need to be ready to accept that. So I don't want to be, but I've. I've had enough practice with uh, not being correct to be okay about it. And it's like, 
I don't have to do anything, you know, as far as like uh, feel this way or that way. I can be disappointed if I choose. I can feel heartbreak or despair if I want to. I don't have to. I can appreciate the honesty of the feedback. If it's, you know, you know, I, I'd appreciate it if it's, you know, I'd, I know it will be, regardless of what the news is or what the situation is. I know it will be considerate and sensitive because um, they know I don't mean any harm. They see me, I don't know how they see me, I really don't, but um, I kind of do think that they are stronger than me in a lot of ways. Um, and they've had more experience than I have in many things and suffered um, through a lot, I think, even more than I have in a lot of things. You know, my own suffering is different, but it's not any worse um, you know, it's just we all suffer different. We go through different things. So it's like, I had my stuff, and they have theirs, and and uh, they might have had it. You know, I, from my perspective, it's like, I don't know how they have survived and gotten through as well as they have. Um, with still that spirit and uh, that ferocity, tenacity, vigor. You know, just... A, you know, just that hurt, but still going. That's interesting. I admire that. I seek that. I find it. I've seen it. And, uh, you know, so the best I can hope for is try to compliment that. Even at a distance, I can, uh, add to their journey without being a direct component of it. I can be a indirect adjunct. Um, you know, something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know them. I don't know them very well. I don't know them. Uh, I know them from their writing. I know, how, I know them from how they represent themselves. How accurate all that is, it's like, I don't know. But uh, I think they want to be known. Um, but I think they're like me in the fact that they, they want to be known, but then they don't like it because then people know them. And uh, then they start making uh, like inferences about what, whether or not they're being normal for themselves based on who other people think that they are. And it's like, it's like well, she, you know, they're doing this. You know, that's not normal. You know, it's like, how am I supposed to know? the definition of what is normal for them, I cannot know. It is not my place to know. So it's like everything about them is normal from what I've seen. Um, it might yet not appear normal to me, um, except that it does. Um, but I can only guess that it's normal to them based on, you know, what knowledge do I have of them? None, really. Um, I, I, so, and who am I to judge? No one. So, and my own behavior and habits and considerations and sensitivities, do I have explanations for them? Can I explain why I am the way I am, the way I think, the way I think, uh, the way I do things, my approach um, with everything? I cannot. These things are just uh, traveled and uh, felt, and I don't know. They just become a part of me as they're I've become a part of them, and it's a growing experience. And that's the other thing. It's like that's what I want. I'd like to be um, more of their experience. You know, I just want to be around. I am around, um, but uh, I guess that's part of the thing. It's like I, mm, I like them a lot, and that's almost it's like it must. That's something that's wanted, then that's a problem. So I have to, you know, 
be mindful that uh, they might not um, be at a point in their life where they want um, what it is. I don't know. I can't tell. It sure seems like they're looking for something. But they might not be ready for it, though. It might just be, you know, theoretical. Like, this is what they will be looking for at some point. Um, you know, but uh, I might not be it. So, so anyway, I had a good run. And I still am um, very glad to have met them, no matter what. They are um, an additive, you know, they are, uh, they complement me. I have learned quite a lot and uh, grown uh, more confident to just be myself and and I've gotten some reassurance and reinforcement that uh, that I'm okay. You know, I, I mean, I already know that, but just you know, in just the way that I am is appreciated. That I don't have to feel like I um, I owe I owe people. I am obligated um, forever to these people. You know, um, and that I am somehow wrong, you know, to feel how I feel I am wrong, to, to think how I think I am wrong. Because I don't think like them. I don't act like them. I don't believe like them. I don't even talk like them. Um, and that's wrong. And I don't, and it's like, I, no, no, I might be wrong for them, but I'm not trying to live their life. I'm not trying to live a life of their understanding. That's for them. I get to have my own. You know? So... And I've, I feel like I've been uh, shown how to grant myself permission to be free. And at some somehow that's happened. Where I, I, they didn't give me permission, but I was shown how to grant myself permission. And to be okay with it. And it's like, people can think, I already knew this, but it's like, but it's kind of drove, drove it home. It's like, People can think whatever they're going to think. People can believe what they think because they're going to do it anyway. You know, so it's like if I want to, you know, reduce uh, and diminish myself and uh, disintegrate um, from being as present in uh, recovery, um, that's on me. I, I can do that if I want to. I am not a fixture. I am not a decoration. Um, and I am not a commodity, um, and I'm not a piece of furniture either. So and I'm not a puppet. I'm not just somebody that's on demand, on cue, shows up, and then goes and sits in a box until it's the next performance next show time. That's not a life for me. That's not a life I want. So, not a marionette, strings attached. No. So, I get to be free. And I don't have to be, you know, I recognized it after, it, I felt wrong after a while, and I was already moving in that direction, but it was nice to get some back backing, that it's like, yeah, yeah, that's that's not right, that's messed up. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm glad for that, and just like glad for the entire experience, it is wonderful. I think it's great. I think they're great. I like them a lot, so... So, anyway, I guess I'm in a good mood. I had a good run, and that's not the only reason. But I feel good about my writing. You know, I feel like, yeah, yeah, I did I did, a, I did a good thing. I feel like I did a good thing. And I hope it was received well. I hope it was received in the way that I hope it was. I hope I'm a good enough writer 
that it was received the way I meant it. Because I mean, if it wasn't, then it means I didn't write it very well. Or, I don't know. I hope that doesn't cause alarm. And I hope it doesn't cause uh, uh, confusion or, uh, or bafflement or um, like, oh no, you know, sort of like, how, oh no, why am I having to deal with this? How, does, how did he come up with this? Where did this come from? And, oh no, dang it, now I'm going to have to uh, explain again how, you know, this isn't about you. You know, this is just writing to the void, or writing, um, you know, which I, I guess I, I understand that. If that, you know, but it sure, but these are the things that I, I can read into things and I can make up a story and then follow that story and pay attention to the things that corroborate it and support it and kind of, mm, just kind of, oh, that doesn't make sense. Let's just not pay attention to that. That, that doesn't make sense to the story that I'm trying to create. So let's just ignore that. Let's put that one aside. That's part of something else, I'm sure. So, I know. It's a... But, uh, I don't know. So, I wrote what I wrote. And it's out there, and I feel good about it. And, um... Now I'm feeling less good about it the more I talk about it. Um, but I'm not going to panic, and I'm not going to write anything new. I am doing this, though. But this is not to, um alleviate or or give myself permission or absolution to um, you know, it's like I'm not taking anything back no everything is everything still mean everything means is as I mean it's like it's like yeah mm-hmm it's like yeah I would be interested in moving forward and seeing what there is to, you know it's like where does this go? I don't know. But it's, I like it. So, for what it's worth. From my perspective. On my end. And I don't know if it's, like I say, I don't know about their end. I don't know about their perspective. But this, if that is at all anything of what they might even be, you know. So, it might, not, might be too soon. It might be too late. It might just not be for them. Or I might just not be the right person. So. But if that is the case, I would like to know. So, at some point, just where I stand, you know, where where do I stand? Who am I? What is my value? What do I what do I mean? And I don't need them to tell me. But uh, I'd like them to let me know. You know, it's like, do I just? As I asked, you know, do you want, should I just, you know, leave you alone? And they just said no. You know, it's like I ask again, should I just leave you alone? Like, I don't know. I don't want to. But I would if I was asked. I would respect and abide. I would just kind of go away. But, uh, I hope that's not the case. I have something else to say, but I don't know what it is. There was a, a thought that was rattling around, but it's kind of wandered off. Yeah, it'll be back. But wouldn't it be amazing? I mean, to me, wouldn't it be amazing? That's a strange sound. So, anyway, um, I should probably go. It's raining a lot today. Anyway, okay. Bye.